Music. What does it do to your soul? Wow. Let's talk about that. Oh, I forgot to turn this on. Oh I'm not God, good today. Hey, uh, yesterday it was Labor Day, so I'm sorry I wasn't on because I did not labor. Haha, <laughs> get it? Labor Day. No, you slept in. Yes, which That's is weird nice. for me because I usually never sleep in. My body wakes me up between 5 and 5.30. Not yesterday. Not yesterday. Five minutes with Frankie. Five okay, minutes just with Frankie. Move on, honey. You don't have to play it. I don't have to play it. It'll be okay. I don't have to play it. But I am going to play it. Okay. Mwahahaha. <laughs> Maybe. One we did. <laughs> <laughs> Well, at least everybody knows what I drink in the morning. Vitamin water and Shroop Farms coffee. Yes. Okay. Actually, Not a sponsor. Actually, it's Reckless it's Coffee. It's Reckless Coffee. Dean be. Neary in Colebrook. Buy some. It's good. It's a sponsor. It's I mean, a sponsor. That's right. You can make reckless it. Coffee is a sponsor. Is a. Anyway, what do songs do to the soul? So, you, you know there's like... What do songs, thank you. What? What do songs do? What do 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 songs <laughs> So, everywhere you go, except for the wilderness, there's music playing. <laughs> it's true. No music, music last night. It was except great. for the girls singing karaoke in the bar. <laughs> it was very awkward. Um, you know, in elevators, in hotels, in uh, stadiums, in everywhere you go, there's Grocery music store. playing. Grocery store. Why is that? Well... Your brain connects these, uh, m the music to receptors, and then you start making decisions based on the music. You know, if you, if like when I'm feeling sad or depressed, I listen to heavy metal. If I'm joyful and glad, I start listening to worship music and maybe something that reminds me of my childhood. If I'm, you know, uh, but music has this way of changing your mood. Just start listening to things and how it changes your mood. And then the types of music that you don't like, once it starts playing, you kind of have this re whole reaction. Mm. So songs are very important, uh, especially in the Bible. There's tons of songs. Actually, there's a whole book dedicated to songs, and that's called Psalms. And there is, there's music almost in every chapter, I mean, every book of the Bible that somebody has sang in that book. And there's just something soothing to your soul when it comes to music. And the great thing is um, anybody really can sing. Because even if it's horrible, God says, make a joyful what? Noise no unto the Lord. doesn't have to sound pretty as long as you're doing it for the Lord. So in yeah, Psalms... Just come on Sunday morning. That's right. Psalms that's chapter 100 verse 2 says this. This is the culmination of why we sing. Okay. Worship the Lord with gladness. Come before him with joyful songs. Now, some songs can express other feelings. But typically, when we're singing to God, hopefully it's a joyful spirit. It's a, it's a way to express ourselves. And I always think, <clears throat> in you know, when we're assembling together in the church building on Sundays, that songs... Why, why do we have that part of our service? Just for a simple fact that God is the audience and we're not. See, a lot of people think, well, the worship team uh, sings to the people and the people sing back. No, we're all singing together and God is the center. He is the audience. I, I love it when I went to a, a, a congregation one time and the band was in the back. Huh. Um, and so everybody focused on the cross and focused on God instead of the band. And I, I like that. I wish we could do that here. Also, songs kind of have this um, connotation of um, it helps with your health. It helps with your body, helps psychologically, helps with your emotions. And God knew that. And so there's tons of songs in the Bible we sing songs to him. We make up songs. And I, I'm just encouraging you 
to get closer to God, songs are important because it expresses ourselves in a different way that we can make music for God. My challenge for you today is make music for God, no matter how it sounds. Maybe if you want to sing in the shower with nobody around, at least sing to God for he is the audience. I love you. Jesus loves you too. You have a great Tuesday. Tuesday. Like a Monday. Like a Monday. Bye-bye. Oh, beautiful.